Okay, in this question we have a closed container at 300 Kelvin and 50 kilopascals. You use the pump to add the particles. Uh, this will cause the temperature to increase to 350 Kelvin and pressure to 100 kilopascals. We're interested in what's happened to the number of particles. So PV equals NKT. Okay, and um, N is what I'm interested in, so I'm going to make that the subject. So in this question, you can see the container is a fixed volume, so I can ignore V, I can ignore the constant as well. So the number of particles is going to be proportional to pressure and one um, and that one of the absolute temperature. So what's happened to pressure? The pressure has increased to 100 from 50, so that's a factor of times two increase. Temperature has gone to 350 from 300. So that's a factor of times 7 over 6. And if you simplify this, you get um, 6, 2 times 6 over 7. That simplifies to 12 over 7. So the number of particles is basically 12 um, over 7n, which is approximately 1.7 times the initial number of particles. OK, in this question, we have a bottle of this volume. The balloon is initially deflated at temperature of 300 Kelvin and then you've heated up and you've caused the temperature to increase to 400 Kelvin and the balloon has expanded to 0.015 meters cubed. Determine what's happened to the pressure. So I'm going to use PV equals NKT again. And because I'm interested in the pressure, I'm going to make that the subject. Okay, so in this question, the number of particles is constant because nothing is escaping or entering the system. So that's going to be ignored and the K is a constant as well. So we've got this proportionality. Now what's happened to temperature? The temperature has gone to 400 from 300. So that's times 4 over 3 increase. Uh, with volume at the bottom, well, it's gone from 0.045, but then it's increased by 0 0.015 and the initial volume was 0 0.045 so that's the factor of increase which is also times 4 over 3 and because that's at the bottom the 4 over 3 will cancel out meaning that the pressure uh, hasn't changed it's the same as before another way of doing this question is also using the fact that n is constant we can say p1 v1 over t1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. Okay, here we have this two container connected by this tube, uh, which is closed using that valve there. The larger container has twice the volume and it has a third of the pressure. And they're both at the same temperature. And we also need to know that well, the number of particles in both of them is going to be different. Otherwise, we won't have that difference in pressure like that. Uh, once the valve is opened, the, what's going to happen is actually the movement of particles. Because of the pressure difference, the gas is going to flow from high pressure to low pressure until the pressure inside it is equal. Now, we need to find the pressure after all of this has happened. So now I can treat the, the final volume of, as one combined container with a total volume of 3V, so V plus the 2V. Uh, I don't know what the new pressure is, but it must be the same inside the whole container. The temperature is still the same. The number of particles, well, I don't know how much number of particles in each volume are, but I do know it's going to be the total number of particles going to be N1 plus N2. So now I can do is I can set up equations, I do gas equations for each situation for each container. So if we start off with this one over here, so we get PV equals N1 KT. And then the second larger container, you get uh, P over 3, 2V equals N2 KT. And in the final situation, we have Pn, which I don't know yet, 3v. The total number of particles is going to be n1 plus 
plus n2 times k t. So I can see that this, I want to get rid of this basically. So, and I know that that's the sum of these two together. So I can add these two equations up. So if I add these two equations up, I get PV plus 2 over 3 PV equals N1 KT plus N2 KT. Now that's the same as saying N1 plus N2 KT. which is the same as PN3V. So if I add up these two, the, the, the fact numbers on the left hand side, I get 5 over 3 PV equals PN over uh, 3V. So then I bring the 3 to the left hand side, so I get 5 over 9 PV equals PN v the v's cancel out so i get the new pressure is equal to 5 over 9 times the initial pressure